So let's get back to camp campaign finance and how the pro-life movement linked them up with that issue, linked themselves up with that issue. Yeah, so after Casey, the pro-life movement's primary, I think, strategy to reverse Roe to that point had been to get Republicans elected because the, Re the Republican Party and the pro-life movement had forged a partnership in the late 1970s and early 1980s. And the theory was that if Republicans controlled the Senate and controlled the White House, they would confirm justices who believed that Roe was an activist decision and wrongly decided. But it turned out that that wasn't true, of course, because the Casey uh, majority um, retained what the plurality opinion called the essential holding of Roe. And so for leaders of the pro-life movement, this meant that more needed to be done to gain influence in the GOP. And campaign finance struck leaders of the movement as one of the promising ways to gain that influence um, by, for example, helping Republicans win, certainly by outraising and outspending the opposition, but also by kind of changing the balance of spending within the party um, to give more of a say to organizations like the NRA, um, or Students for Life or the National Right to Life Committee, um, and relatively less of a say to the kind of traditional committeemen and party leaders who prioritized electability over kind of purity on single issues. So that brought pro-life groups into major struggles around campaign finance in Congress. Um, it led them to take a central role in litigating major campaign finance cases that reached the Supreme Court, including the one people have probably heard of, the Citizens United case. Um, and to be involved even today in, in struggles over what we often think of as dark money because of the belief that many people in the pro-life movement had that there would be a backlash to donors in blue cities or blue states who opposed abortion and opened their wallets to contribute to um, pro-life causes. So the, the connections, they're not just historic, I think in many ways they're ongoing.